So there's a cool new app inside Microsoft Teams called Classwork and in this video we're going to look at the advantages of using it and give you a quick guide on how to set up your first modules in Microsoft Classwork. So before we get started please subscribe to the channel we promote lots of free tips and guides on this channel so hopefully you'll find it really useful. So Microsoft Classwork and um, we're going to look at this today it's a great place to reuse organize and save your time when you are presenting uh, resources, assignments, modules to students. So historically you might create your assignments in the assignments tab, you might put your documents in the uh, in the files tab and you might have different channels for discussions about different topics. Now that's great but these are all in different places and it means the student and the teacher have to navigate uh, between them and it can be quite difficult to bring everything together in the lesson or for your homework. So what Classwork allows you to do is you can put everything in one place, all your assignments, all your documents, all your discussions and much more and you can group them into modules and you can order them. So this allows you to present them to the students really quickly and easily and everything is in one place. So your instructions for the students are really simple and as a teacher you just go to one place to create everything. So this is a really exciting uh, new product from Microsoft and there's also going to be some new features coming soon so I think it's sort of September 2023 onwards we're looking at the option to reuse classwork uh, modules across different classes that you teach so you make them once so you can just import them into other classes. So let's go and take a look at it. So this is classwork down the left hand side in our menu. It's a new link and when we go to this you can see we've got a blank page and we can we can see a add module button to get started. So let's create our first module. So it prompts me to add a module name and I'm going to call this Shaping the Nation. I can then add a description and I've got all the buttons across the top to format my text and add links. Once I've done that, I click save. This is now a draft module. Students can't see it. I can see it. So I can add resources or drop in files. So there's lots of different types of content we can bring together into one place. Where historically, you would have to go into assignments for assignments, class notebook page for notebook pages, into your files tab for some of the documents. We can pull all of this together into a single place. So one type of resource we might want to add is a file. So I'm going to search my Teams for that file. Now because we're using the Cloud Design Box provision Teams, I can go into my History team, and this is where we keep all of our history resources. This is a staff-only team. And I can go into my uh, year, year 10 resources, nursing in the NHS, and just grab a resource for this particular topic. And I can attach that into this classwork area. Some other types of resource I can add, so I can also add assignments. So I could add, what, uh, add an existing assignment from this class, I could create a brand new assignment just for this module. I can also create one from an existing uh, assignment in a different class. So I'm going to add one I've already created in this class and attach it. And I can also add in some class notebook pages as well. So I can go into my class notebook and add an existing page or I can create a brand new page. In this instance, I'm going to create a brand new page. Now one thing you'll notice is you can't have resources with the same name. So this notebook page, I've had to call Nursing in the NHS intro because it clashes with the assignment. And I can also add links to websites. Um, I can also add a channel. So maybe you want to actually discuss this as a topic and I might want to add a channel to my team. And going back to here, I can go in and I can add that channel as a resource here. So we can have our discussion in the Nursing in the NHS discussion channel. We can add the class notebook page, maybe do some class notebook, uh, class notebook work in there. We've got an assignment on this particular topic and we've also got a document on it as well. And you can add as many as you want to this or as little as you want to these modules. Now, no one can see this module and you can create as many modules as you want. So if I just create another one, and we'll call it module two, save that. 
Now, no one can see any of these modules at the moment. I've not published them, but if I want to, I can go in and I can click publish. When I publish it, it'll be visible to all students and it's available. So if I wanted to, I could prepare these in advance and publish them when I'm ready. And I can also pin a module to the top as well. So if we're working on a number of different topics every single week, it might get you know quite a long list of topics here. So what I can do is I can pin the module, it'll pin it to the top so we don't get confused. And I can keep this one as draft for now if I wanted to. I can always come back in and, and edit this module. I can delete it, I can unpin it. So you can manage it and you can create that learning process inside classwork. So really good that in the future, in the coming sort of September onwards, you'll be able to reuse modules from other classes that you teach as well. So you just make the module once and reuse it. Um, obviously you might get issues where you've got different versions and different uh, class teams. And I think Microsoft will work on a solution for that as well. Um, but it's just a nice easy way to bring, a, bring together all those different resources because it can be difficult especially when you're a teacher, to go into assignments, set assignments there, then go into class notebook, and then go into your file area. This brings everything together. It makes it easy to explain for students. So they've got one place to go to access all of those resources. And it just makes it far less cluttered. So it's a nice uh, module. It uh, does replicate what some LMSs do already. So you might find there's some duplication if you're using Moodle or other third-party LMSs, um, but it's really good. It's really basic at the moment, but Microsoft are going to add to it. And if you're the pet sort of person who wants to organize your lessons in a structured way, then this might be quite a nice way to do that. So I hope you found that guide useful and please get in touch with us if you want to find out more about how Cloud Design Box can help you and your school or your district or mat automate teams, make it easier for teachers to use and save them lots of time. You can contact us via the website or the email address on the screen now. Um, and please subscribe to the channel. Lots of free, useful tips and guides available.